Right, so here we are, Anubis Empire, once again the blue side here, starting off to the north, their opponents uh, rush as the yellow team to the south. Yeah, and taking a quick look at the tank lineup here, Anubis Empire going with a fairly heavy tank lineup. They have pretty much the same lineup as last set, except they did switch out one of their AMX 50s for an AMX 13. So a little bit more mobility on that side, and on the opposing side, Rush actually going with a much more mobile setup, only going with one heavy T32, two T69s, and two AMX 13s. So now, um, we're, I'm we're expecting them to kind of roam around this middle area and really use their mo mo mobility. You know, we might see something we haven't for a really long time, though, because both teams are just trying to monopolize that central field area, so uh, we might see a, a bloodbath on uh, Quite from possibly. the very get-go. I mean, if Anubis, because right now we're taking a look at Rush, obviously, but Anubis Empire were just really pushing down hard, straight down the middle. Uh, so if they keep on doing that, uh, they're definitely, well, just going to have the advantage. They, they absolutely have uh, an overwhelming advantage. Oh, there they are. They have spotted power. now. Oh, Rumaldir exactly. takes the damage so, now. Uh, Rumaldir's going to get out of there. Yeah, so right honestly, now. Anubis can just push straight down the middle of the map because they do have the heavier and tankier forces. They just have to be careful not yeah, to get yeah, trapped yeah. one after the other, like by those uh, T69 the loaders. But as long as they're careful with that, they should be fine because they, they really just do have uh, 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 the bigger tanks. Oh, too. but Gunner actually might go down. Gunner does go down. So the first day, you actually trade right there. So Amex 13 for a t uh, IS3, not that bad on, uh, on Anubis's front. And they're just going to continue to push because they realize that they have the heavier armored tanks and they do have more hit points overall so eventually uh, if they trade evenly then they should be able to come out on top on yeah, this look, look at that that's yeah. just uh force the couple it's about to go down as well so it, it's clearly yeah. not enough for firepower wow or the, uh, and they take out uh Wow, they take out two, no, another two tier eights, lightsaber and dextos. So yeah, right this down. is this is just game over. Wow, it's, uh, it's it's an overwhelming push here coming from Anubis, and uh, the thing is, the only chance that Rush stood uh, from the get go was to spread out and just start uh, or go for the railway or well, exactly, just yeah. they, they needed like uh, they it's needed more room to maneuver, sort of more angles as well to just outmaneuver the heavier uh, opponents. But in a, in a frontal engagement like this, really, they clearly had no chance at all from the get go. Which is why uh, it was very wise of, of uh, Anubis to just push down the middle. Uh, however, when it comes to the opponent's rush, uh, yeah, the fact that he just didn't spread out and try to monopolize the field from the get go wasn't possibly uh, the wisest option out there because yeah, they were just completely outgunned. Yeah, definitely. So, and if they were just going to go for that field area from the get go, they should have just gone maybe a couple more or even just one more heavy tank. Because uh, I think if they had just gone maybe another T32 or even an IS3, uh, definitely they could have held that front line for a longer time and then if they held that front line for a longer time then those T69s could have dealt so much more damage. Indeed and look at that just uh, the base capture uh, all of them are just going to go for it. Yeah and Badat so tanks uh, can't even fire a shot because if he fires a shot then he'll be spotted and if he's spotted then he's going to go down. Well I mean he, he's going to have to uh, yeah. eventually because yeah there you go so he fires that shot uh, he hasn't been spotted there. Oh he hasn't been spotted just yet. Exactly well another shot uh, going down here. So now it's only like Batsuga and Gun and Rose. It's not gonna matter that much though. Man. Yeah, it shouldn't matter too much. Yeah, Batter Tanks is she gonna reload there? He is backing out in Anubis. Yeah, continuing to go on the base. About 15 seconds remaining there. Yeah, well, it's just gonna be a successful capture. I mean, Batter Tanks this time is gonna have to come out in the open to uh, uh, to uh, take these tanks out. And uh, yeah, he's been spotted. He's been completely spotted. So. Uh, Alright, so...